Hi, welcome to Alliance Communications. Did you just get a new email account and need help setting it up on your device? Or maybe you just upgraded your phone and need your email set up again. This tutorial is going to help guide you step by step. My name is Shannon and I am in customer service and internet support at Alliance. During normal business hours, I am here to answer your calls and help you set up your email or fix your email server settings. Even after hours, we have support waiting to help you. However, this video will show you everything you need to know to set it up on your own. Before you start, there are a few things that you will need to know. Make sure you have access to your Alliance email address and password. If you don't know these, please call us during business hours and we can provide that to you. Every phone, device, and software version might look a little bit different. However, each step will be very similar. Today we are going to go through the steps to add an existing email address to your Android device. To start, from your home screen, click on Email, then choose Other, then enter in your email address and password. Verify the information is correct once typed in. In the lower left corner, you will choose Manual Setup. This will allow you to customize server settings to match Alliance email requirements. Choose POP3 Account Type. On the Server Settings screen, you may need to scroll up to see the information just entered. You'll see your email address, username, and password. The username will need to be updated to display your full email address. Next, under Incoming Server, you will verify POP3 Server shows pop.alliancecom.net. Security type should be none and port should be 110. If these don't display correctly, you can update them on this screen. Next, under the outgoing server, verify the SMTP server shows smtp.alliancecom.net. Press on the drop-down menu under Security Type. You will choose SSL Accept All Certificates. You may get a confirmation message to accept all certificates. Click Accept. Port should now display as 465. If not, change it. Require authentication to send emails should be on. Again, you'll see your username and password. The username must be updated to display your full email address. Again, make sure all information displays correctly, then press Next. This will once again verify the information just entered. Next, it will verify sync schedule. Click on Done in the lower right corner. You will have the option to change your account name and your name for outgoing email. This is optional and up to you what you want displayed. Press Done. Your email is now set up. You will see your incoming emails loading into your inbox. Send a test email to make sure it's working. It's quite a few steps, but you should be able to enjoy sending and receiving emails once you add your account. If you have any troubles or questions, call us and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for spending time with us today.